Sundar Gavde. I am seven years old. My I am second standard. My division is A. Today I am telling you a story. The story name is Kakasaurus. The price is forty five. The crow turned into a dinosaur. So I'll read for you. Now I'll read for you. Raji was sitting peacefully under a tree, reading a book and eating a bhaji. When a crow walked up to her, "Hi, Kaka," Raji said. Raji opened her mouth to take a bite of bhaji. The crow flew up, grabbed the bhaji, and flew away. Raji jumped up, leapt over the compound wall, and started running down the road. Give that back, you! Useless food stealing peanut brain crow! Raji shouted. The crow was flying slowly. Its body was getting bigger and heavier. Worse, its wings were getting smaller. I will get soon, Raji said. Salim came cycling down the road. The tired crow dropped from the sky and fell on Salim and his cycle. Crash! Raji ran up to them. Salim was lying on the ground with his cycle. There was a weird creature on his head, flapping wildly. It was large and strong, and it had teeth. It bit, bit Salim hard. Jump! Ah! Scream! Salim, your crow is eating me. That's not my crow, Raji said. Actually, it's not a crow at all. They looked at the not crow. You're right. That's a dinosaur. Yeah, I'll tell him. The crow dinosaur flapped and ran towards to the bazaar. What if bites more people? Asked Raji. We should stop it. Salim replied. The crow dancer stomped through the bazaar, yelling "ka kra" and knocking everyone over. Only Prof. Auntie watched it with wonder. Is that I am losing my mind? Could it be a real leaf therapist? Raji and Salim help Prof. Auntie. Prof. Auntie, have you seen us? Raji and Salim. She said, "A bird is a dinosaur." Yes, I have. Where did you get that creature? She said, "They are supposed to be extinct." I have been studying them all my life, and I have only seen the old bones. The extinct crow headed out of the bazaar. Raji and Salim and Prof. Anti followed them. Raji ran extra fast and threw herself at it. Got you, Raji held the crow dinosaur close. Salim sat down and it's turning into a T-Rex. They are ah uh, the same. Family panted, "Prof, and the birds and dinosaurs. I mean, it's elevating backwards." A lizard ran by, and the dinosaur snapped it. "Yuck, gross cannibal!" shouted Raji. "It's like it ate my cousin," said Sally. "No, isn't it, Prof, and the say birds are dis descended from dinosaurs?" So they are fully close to crocodiles, but lizards are a different, extremely different kind of reptile. The crow dancer pulled up on the ground and made an unhappy noise. Crowd room. I think it's sad. It. Can no longer fly," said Salim. They went to Prof. Auntie's house. On the table was a plate of bhajis. Hmm, Raji said. "Kra," said the dinosaur. It stretched as tall as Prof. Auntie. 
snatched the entire plate, crunched the bhaji and the steel. Then it made a loud burp and stuck all its teeth out of 